guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another amazing Silhouette Studio software tutorial. Now, if you like Silhouette Studio, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. And we are including a little bonus preview of a fabulous project we are doing with the new CF Spark feature of your all access membership. So definitely make sure you take notes on this one, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. You guys know the deal, but for now, let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are today to talk about stippling. But first, I wanted to go ahead and remind you of a really new tool, and I'm using a piece of clip art that I created using this tool called CF Spark. Okay, now I have a whole video to show you how to use it, how cool it is, answer some of your questions, but definitely make sure you check it out. It's right here on the Creative Fabrica website. And I'm going to use this piece of clip art here that I generated all on my own using the AI software. And it's going to be perfect for what we are doing today, which is stippling. So let's head on over to Silhouette Studio. And before I forget, the very first thing that I want to do is unzip my clip art. Now I downloaded it, I have it already, but I have not unzipped it yet. So open a file explorer window and I'm gonna go to my downloads. Here we go. So I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna go to extract all and just let it extract right here into my downloads folder. And then here is my piece of clip art. There we go, really pretty, I like it a lot. Let's just go ahead and drag and drop it over here into the software. Now, I chose this clip art because it's very high in contrast. I'm just gonna make it 12 by 12 so it fits my whole design area here. But I wanted it to be black and white and although it does not have to be, these work exceptionally well because what stippling is, it is going to be the process of filling a design with dots, okay? And obviously the darker the area, the more dots it's going to have and that sort of thing. Now I'm using this from a standpoint of using a marker or a pen to create something, you know, visual, but stippling is not just for markers and pens. You can use them with some really great aluminum type um, 10 sheets as well with a specialized tool. So we will have an actual hands-on stippling video for you that will show you a couple different ways that you can stipple. But for now, I wanna to talk to you about how to set this up in the software. So with my design imported, what I want to do is open up my stipple panel down here and I'm gonna use the stipple trace feature. So it says select stipple area I'm just gonna highlight my entire picture here and that creates my stipple. I mean like there really isn't anything more to it than that. It's super exciting, super simple because literally the software takes care of everything for you. Now, what I wanna note is that this stipple is going to be very lengthy, okay? And most stippling is, but this one in particular because it has so much black area to cover. So any area that looks solid black, that is exactly what I described is going to be a series of dots, okay? But that's okay, we're not gonna let that scare us off because imagine how gorgeous this will be whenever it's complete. And you can make this into a, you know, a piece of artwork. If you have just say a 12 by 12 sheet of white cardstock and a marker, you load it up, let your machine go to town and it's gonna take care of everything for you. And then you can frame it and it's really gorgeous. You can even use canvas and detach it from your frame and do it that way. So then you can reattach it to your canvas and have a gorgeous canvas design done all in stippling. So really, really awesome things that you can do. So we're just gonna go to create stipple. And of course there are, um, you know, different styles. You can invert it. Let's go ahead and just talk about some of that. So for example, I can go to simple and that's just going obviously very simple, simple abstract, a little bit more complex, regular one, regular two, regular three. And I can just keep scrolling. And sometimes you do want to check these out and figure out which one works the best for you. 
um, white noise. These are just more or less different effects that you can apply. That one is going to be in a very matrix format. Okay, still super cute, but just not what I am going for today. So I'm just gonna go back to regular one. And then of course I can change the density, which is how close together my dots are. You'll notice I lessen the density and you can start seeing the dots, but the less dark my design is. So it's completely up to you. You can find somewhere in between. Obviously the less density also, the less time it's going to take. Refinement. I think that this makes my dots smaller, which can result in more detail, but I don't mess with refinement too much. And then grid spacing is just going to determine the size of my dots. And it defaults to the 0 0.039. Okay. I can also invert. Now it looks funny on this design, but if I was trying to go for a design that I could get rid of that black background, then that may have been an option. Now, my tiger face just doesn't look the same, but you can do it. So let's go ahead and create stipple. And basically this is my stipple design here. I can delete my photo and this is all I need. And that is how I'm going to create my own stipple designs in Silhouette Studio. So super easy. You guys got a little bit of taste, a little bit hint of that creative spark. So make sure you check out that video, but stippling super, super easy. And like I said, once you guys are ready, I'm going to have a step-by-step -step video and show you how to make some really awesome stippled artwork. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you will know when that video comes out. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed learning this method. Now I will say this also, I'm talking about using this on my machine, but you can print this out. You don't actually have to go through the whole process of stippling. Now, I think that takes away from the effect, but it is an option that you have. But like I said, guys, you know, just another cool feature of your Silhouette Studio software. Hopefully you enjoy learning more about it and you can look forward to our upcoming awesome video. So guys, how did you feel about learning more about the stippling feature in Silhouette Studio? It's really amazing. There's a lot of great uses for it. Even if you don't actually use the stippling feature, I think it makes a really neat effect. And I know you guys are always looking for cool new things to learn in the software. So you may be asking why we didn't do the project today. Guys, I promise you, we will finish out that project and I'm going to show you some really awesome ways to use that stippling. But for today, just make sure you go over the software, check out all the features, play around with it. Let's not overwhelm ourselves. And we are going to build on the foundation of learning how to use this in the software. And you guys won't be sorry for it, I promise. So I am going to wrap it up for today, guys. I do appreciate you stopping by. And make sure you have subscribed to the channel. Turn on notifications. Maybe share with a crafty friend. You know, I love all the support that you show for the channel. And just all the love that you share with us down in the comments. So, but like I said, wrapping up for today. I appreciate you guys. And we will see you again next time.